Hi, I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Carissa. And today we're going to talk about nursing informatics. From future nurse practitioners. I have all these patient files and I just don't know what to do with them or how to keep track of them all. Oh my gosh, have you never heard of an EHR? An EHR? Say goodbye to paper documents. Because nursing is all about entering patient information electronically. That means it's very important for nurses to understand the concept of health informatics. Health informatics, especially when it comes to nursing, helps to identify, manage, and communicate data, information, knowledge, and wisdom. Hey, can you order this prescription for me? Uh, yeah, no problem. Uh, this looks like a pain prescription, but I can't read it. A big component of EHRs are Computerized Physician Order Entry, or CPOE. Before CPOEs, nurses had to transcribe provider orders by hand. This proved to be a challenge due to hard-to-read handwriting and human error during transcription. Now, the right medication, dose, and frequency can be inputted with the click of a button. Wow, that alarm is really giving me a headache. I agree. Here, I know how to turn it off. Good idea. With so many new systems for patient care, nurses perform shortcuts to overcome obstacles when it comes to caring for a patient. These are better known as workarounds. Workarounds help to meet a goal or achieve it faster. And although workarounds can provide a solution to common problems that we face, in some instances they can actually put a patient's safety at risk. Disabling bothersome alarms could potentially risk missing a real problem. Hey, Mr. Hansen. We're going to give you some medicine to help with your strep throat. Let's give them 750 milligrams of penicillin right now, and then again in eight hours. Okay, Mr. Hansen, here's your medicine. Oh, thank you. You're the best nurse ever. No problem. <coughs> wait, wait, what's happening? His heart rate just tripled, and he's having trouble breathing. You did check the chart, right? Of course I checked the chart. To further improve patient safety, medical errors need to be reported so that they can be analyzed and solved. This is essential so that medical providers can learn from their mistakes and the mistakes of others. Root cause analysis is the process that medical professionals use to identify the root cause of problems. Not only is it identifying problems, but also coming up with techniques to prevent mistakes before they happen. In this situation, the root cause of the problem was the failure to check the chart. Now listen closely. We're here to tell you about the five rights of medication administration. One, the right patient. Two, the right time and frequency. Three, the right dose. Four, the right route. Five, the right medication. Do you remember if John Smith in room five or John Smith in room one is diabetic and needs insulin? No idea. Flip a coin. Smart. Actually, not smart. Not knowing who receives what medication can put a patient's health at risk. One innovative technique that could potentially reduce the number of medication errors to patients is barcode labeling. Barcode labeling is a procedure of matching all patient wristbands with corresponding medications and other critical information. This new system would require all medical professionals to scan both the patient's wristband and the medication to double check for accuracy before administering the drug. In the field of advanced nursing, health informatics is crucial to being a competitive candidate for future job opportunities. In any health environment, informatics is going to be used in day-to-day -day activities. Being on top of your game and knowing informatics beforehand will give you the advantage at your workplace. We encourage everyone to get a better understanding of health informatics to stay up-to-date in an ever-changing technological world.